Hey friends, so here's what I'm taking for lunch today. This is leftover barbecue chicken, and I'm gonna have it on a sandwich. So I have some cheese and a bun here. These are the sweet Hawaiian buns from Walmart. They are so good. I wanna say, so oh, they're maybe $2.50 or $3 a pack, which is a bit pricey, but they're really good. So I think for a special occasion, that's good. And then for my snacks here, I have some string cheese, an apple, which I might grab some nut butter for, um, carrots that I need to seal apparently. Okay. <laughs> a square bar, which is chocolate coated cookie dough, and then a coffee brownie bliss yogurt by Chobani. Um, so that's what I'm going to have for my lunch today. We have some like salty snacks at work, so I might have like Cheez-Its or chips with my sandwich, um, but we'll kind of play it by ear. What I've been doing lately is just having, trying to have carbs at one meal. Uh, today I have kind of a busier schedule, so I'll tell you guys what's going on, um, but I have to go get ready and get out of here. <sighs> Do you ever have a moment that you can only describe as a God encounter? And it can be like the smallest way or the biggest way, but you know that God is, it's just confirmation that the Lord is working on your behalf. That's how I feel right now. So it's almost eight o'clock. I'm getting ready to leave for work. I'm heading to a meeting. I realized that in the hustle of running a little bit behind my schedule, I forgot to read my devotional this morning. So I brought it with me and I'm in the car while the car warms up and I started reading it. Um, to give you guys full transparency, I'm waiting to hear on a situation um, that is of great importance to my husband and I. And um, it's kind of a big deal, whether it comes to pass or doesn't. And so it's been something that I've been a little bit anxious about and I've been nervous about. Um, I've been kind of just like replaying all these different scenarios in my head. And each and every day I've just been asking the Lord for his peace to overcome me, um, peace that surpasses all understanding. Um, but also just to be content with whatever the answer is. And my verse that is has been my life verse for 10 years now um, is Jeremiah 29 11. I just cracked over my devotional and it's not the key verse of the devotional. It's not like the highlighted verse for that day. But within this verse or within this devotional, Lisa Turkers talks about finding Jeremiah 29 11 and how she clung to that as her verse as she was growing in her relationship with the Lord. And for me, this verse, it's its a very common um, verse to be shared in the Christian community, but it's not a verse that I see a lot. Um, so it's not like I see it every day um, or I hear people talk about it every day. I don't. It's pretty rare. I think I think there was a period where it was around a lot and people have kind of, it's kind of petered out. Um, at least that's been my experience. But like I said, its it's like my life verse. So um, to see it, and knowing like what we're going through right now, what we're waiting on, it's just confirmation. And the verse, for those of you who are wondering, is, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And that's just um, 2911. The whole verses, the verses surrounding that verse are super powerful also, um, but that's like the key verse. So that to me is just confirmation again that, the Lord is just always working on our behalf. And even when we don't feel it or see it or we're nervous about it, um, he's always working out our best for us. And he always has our best in store and has the best plan for us, even if it doesn't look like what we expect it to look like. So that's super encouraging to me today. Um, I do have to get on my way. I'm going to a client meeting this morning. It is third. It's Thursday. I keep forgetting what day it is. It's Thursday. Um, so I'm going to a client meeting this morning. It's out of town. So I have about an hour to get there. It's going to take me that long to get there. Um, I don't know how long the meeting is going to be. It could be an hour. It could be a couple of hours. We'll see. But then after that, I'll be going into the office. Um, and I have a meeting this afternoon as well. So this evening, I am not going to be coming straight home. I have worship practice at our church for Sunday uh, my voice is still a little bit iffy, um, and so we'll see how this goes. But 
we have a lot of support for this Sunday, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, so I think it should be fine. But um, before I go to worship practice, I'm thinking about leaving work a little bit earlier um, than normal. I usually stay till like 5 or 5.15 no matter what time I start. Um, and that gives me like a little bit of overtime in my check, um, but also just, you know, kind of helps me to leave and once traffic has died down a little bit. But I think I'm going to leave a little bit early because I want to run to Walmart and pick up some supplies for Elias's um, first birthday photo props, which are next Friday. He's going to be 10 and a half months. At that time, we're taking them early so that we can get them out for like the invitations and have whatever we want printed for his party and all that good stuff. But so it's a little early, um, but it's crazy that he's, I mean, he's going to be at that point, he'll be six weeks away from being one. Like how, where did my baby go? So sad. You guys, those of you who said like the time flies, you were not kidding. It really does fly. So I have this morning, my shake. This is pumpkin spice shakeology. It was a limited edition flavor from last fall. Um, and I got a couple boxes when it came out so that I could have it kind of whenever I wanted and I have my coffee um, I didn't get water but I did drink a bunch of water after my workout today so I think I'm good for that I do need to do my makeup before I take off and yeah just get to my client meeting so let's I'm at my appointment. I'm gonna get my stuff and go in and yeah, get to work. It's just nine, it's 8.55. I made good time. Oh goodness. Hey guys, it is 10.55. I just finished with my meetings and my site visits. Um, oh, that was a doozy. I had like a coughing fit in the middle of it and it was super embarrassing. Um, like coughing so bad that like I was gonna throw up and like I could not stop coughing they like gave me water they gave me cough drops like it was it was pretty pretty sad that has not happened I've been sick and like I cough here and there but I haven't had a coughing fit like that so of course it happens in the middle of meeting with the clients so that was fine so um I have about a 40 minute drive back to work I think I'm gonna stop at Starbucks by the time I get back to work it's basically gonna be lunchtime um, and I have to prep for my meeting this afternoon also. So I've got to figure out what I want to do as far as if I'm going to just eat at work or at my desk or what's going to happen. But I think I am going to go to Starbucks before I get to work because my coffee that I made this morning, I don't know if it was just like the different creamer that I used or what happened, but I'm just not loving it. And now of course it's like, you know, it's like lukewarm now. Um, so I might get an iced coffee and call it good. So let me get out of here and head off to work. Here's my water, my pity water from my client. All right, so I'm gonna head to work and via Starbucks, let's do this. All right guys, I'm almost back to work, but I stopped at Chipotle because I know it's already gonna be 12 when I get back. <clears throat> and like I said, I have a meeting at two, so it's just gonna get crazy. I'm not gonna have time to like eat up my food. Um, I just need to like eat something really quick at my desk and work away. So, picked up Chipotle. We're gonna be back to work or to work for the day. And yeah, let the day really start now, I guess. <laughs> it is 4 32. Woo, 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 woo. I off. We're going to the store. Let's get some stuff. All right, friends, I am at Walmart. I'm still working on my coffee from earlier. It's been that kind of a day. I have an hour before I have to get out of here and get off to worship practice. Um, I need to get some things for Elias to do his decorations. I also am going to look at some pantry stuff because our pantry is a mess. It's a mess. So, let's do this. And I might get some cough medicine because I'm struggling hard. Alright guys, it's 5.55. That took me the full hour that I was estimating it would. And I'm leaving Walmart right now. Um, 
I am on my way to worship practice. I'm just in the parking lot. Um, so I'm going to be on my way to worship practice right now, which is great. Um, I am really excited because I got everything that I was looking for. I had to get cough medicine for myself and my hubby. Um, but I also wanted to get the stuff for Elias for his birthday photo shoot props. And I was thinking of getting some items to redo our pantry because it's a mess. Um, and thank goodness I found exactly what I wanted. So I'll show that to you guys and we'll have a pantry party soon. All right guys, it is 8.30, practice is over. It's time to head home. Woo, finally. I think Elias is asleep already, so sad. Okay guys, so real quick, I'm gonna show you what I got at Walmart. This is one thing I got, it's a runner for the kitchen. It's like 60 inches, I think, like 20 by 60 or something like that. I like, I really like it in here. I think it looks really good. We really needed to replace our rugs. They were so old and so gross. I might get a second one to put um, in front of the stove, but the way that our kitchen kind of like comes to a point, it looks a little weird to have two of these in here. So, okay, and then I also got some items that I want to use to organize our pantry. So I got an adjustable three-tier can organizer. I've always wanted one of these, which sounds so lame, but um, I really need to get our cans organized. We don't use cans too often, but they're just so bulky and they're always in the way, I feel like. I also got some towels because our kitchen towels are like really grimy. These are nice because they're different colors, like the accents are pretty cute. I did get some M&M's, totally rando, but these are our favorites. These are the hubby's favorites, and these are mine. I also picked up a um, funnel, because sometimes I need a funnel for different things. So I also got a new measuring cup. This is a plastic one, but our glass one was getting pretty beat up. So And I like that this has like the increments. Our plastic one doesn't have as many. Um, I did get some cough medicine for myself and the hubby. We are both have this ridiculous cough. And then I got a bunch of canisters. So these are going to be to organize the pantry. I got, um, I think, six of the small ones and six of the large ones. The small ones are two quarts. The large ones are one gallon. And then as far as the stuff that I had to get for Elias for his birthday photos... I got two of these little chalkboard signs so that I can write on them. Um, these are really great just for like for parties and like things in general. And then I got a ton of these fabric squares. These are, what are they called? Fat quarters is what they're called. No lie. That's what they're called. Fat quarter. Um, so I got a bunch because I'm going to make some tassel um, banners for his birthday. Oh for his birthday photo. So I got a bunch of different patterns and some solids. Um, I also got some thick burlap ribbon and a thin burlap ribbon that's gonna make the actual um, banner. And then I have, an, I'll show you guys this DIY because I have um, another part that I got from Target that I'm gonna use with this to make the banner as well. Okay, and then the last thing I got is really cool, I think. It is this Lazy Susan. It's a two-tier Lazy Susan, but it has these little containers on the top. Um, and I guess you could put them on the bottom too, but it's that you can organize it. So I thought that was really cool and how they're using it like for um, granola bars up here. That's exactly what I want it for is for like snacks for um, lunches. So it has kind of a better visual back here, but so cool. I think it's so interesting. I would also probably maybe use one for um, our little drink packs, our crystal light packets, and just take them out of their boxes and put them like in one of the containers. So that's another thing I got. So I'm going to be working on the pantry here in the next probably week or so. I forgot one other thing. This, this is a set of two crates. I mentioned that I needed crates for Elias's pictures. And then we'll just eventually use these like for toys and storage and stuff like that. But um, these were two for 15. And the other crates, they were like larger than this, but they were unfinished. Um, but they were like $12 a piece. So I was like, mm, I'd rather get two that are already painted and be done with it. Kiki approves too. So that is what I got at Walmart. The end. Fascinating, I know. <laughs>
Hey guys, so I am finally home. It's just after 10. Um, I came home and just like got my car unloaded and Elias woke up for a little bit. So I was in there and kind of gave him a little more milk and rocked him for a few minutes and snuggled. He was like fighting going back to sleep. So it took a while and I am going to eat some dinner. This is my barbecue chicken sandwich that I did not eat at lunch today. Uh, so I'm having that and working on getting a video uploaded. I'm probably going to call it a night. I might do a little something with my hair. I'm trying to I'm like playing around with different styles and how I like to wear it and just different things. So we'll see about that. Yeah. Hair is like, it's such a trial and error experiment, right? Is it just me? Is it just me? Let me know. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. So I think I'm going to call it a night. Um, the hubs and I are probably just going to relax for a bit after I get this video up and then it'll be Friday tomorrow. Woohoo! So I hope you guys have a great day. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what the best part of your day was today in a comment down below. I'll talk to you guys soon.